The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in this life we don't have any other work than to sanctify the Lord of hosts. Because he alone will be our fear and he alone will be our dread. We need to know how it is to be the great pain of my Lord revealed to the prophets of Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Isaiah as well. The way this man they have went astray. The way this man they couldn't come to the realization of the truth. The way this man that preferred emptiness and vanity rather than the reality of the word of the Lord. If there is a true repentance, the repentance would be like Zacchaeus. The problem with the word repentance many people cannot understand is the repentance meant to say, to change your mind, to change your thinking, to change your standards. Without this repentance, there cannot be anything else. But we are here to tell to the reality of the word that we have come to the reality of the truth, that it has to be. If we really receive joyfully our Lord in our hearts, our thing will be to pay back what we have taken unjustly four times. And that is not only literally related to the material world, but it relates to the spiritual world. The spiritual world where we grieve, squelch and lie to the ministry of Lord, get the Holy Spirit that has to be paid back by four times of great joy in our hearts. But we do not know one simple truth. One simple truth until unless you believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ, that our Lord God the Father has given each and every believer into the account and the care of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will no, in, in no wise lose them, but rather he will cause them to be appearing at the judgment seat of Christ because he has saved them. What a great privilege it is. Then too we are indulging ourselves in the matters of this world which is nowhere related and we are much happy to do our things pertaining to this earth. Therefore, dear brethren, the life that we are living is not only just to the things pertaining to this earth, but it has something more connotation to the world in the heavenlies. Think over these issues because of the polity of privileges which Lord has bestowed upon us. We need to be very cautious and very careful as we shall come back and continue tomorrow with our headboard and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In order to telling to Lord God the Father in the privacy of your soul that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is very simple, believing in the Lord and Savior. Where Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine, you shall learn to acquire the possession of the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And whereas for the pastor teacher, the great matter is to carry forth on Lagan, herald the word in season, out of season, because of the diamatrum of witnesses where they have been called. The great diamatrum of witnesses where they have been called is in Trinity, followed by Bible in our hands, and we have the witnesses as our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brethren, not worry, besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But what is our duty? Our duty is to rightly divide the word of truth, not to worry about the soft days. As we shall come back and continue tomorrow, think over these issues. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge and help us to sanctify thy word, thy name alone, forever and forever, by being a witness for the truth. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.